Um, today I'm going to speak about the difference between um, IGF-1 found naturally uh, within velvet antler extract and IGF-1 um, synthetically derived in an isolated form. Um, now just to give you kind of a little bit of a background um, on what IGF-1 is, is IGF-1 is the end result of HGH. And what that means, it's the metabolite or ready to use form in the body of, of HGH. Um, how we actually measure HGH levels uh, within the body is by taking blood serum levels of, uh, and looking for IGF-1 levels. So from a hypothalamic pulse, your pituitary gland releases growth hormone into the bloodstream. Um, that growth hormone uh, is released into the bloodstream and gets metabolized in the liver into IGF-1. So from the liver, it's metabolized into IGF-1. Um, what IGF-1 does for the body is it helps to give the, the raw material to rebuild cells internally and externally throughout your body. Um, so it helps to you know, build healthy cells in your skin, in your blood, in your bones, um, in your muscle tissue, in your ligaments. Um, so some of the, the indirect effects of IGF-1 are actually an increase in bone density, an increase in bone size. Uh, some of the direct effects are um, fat loss. Um, IGF-1 has a, has a great ability to, uh, to regulate other sex hormone production and release, also to, to help out with regulating stress hormones. It helps to mobilize fats and sugars and proteins uh, much more efficiently as energy. Um, so it can really kick up and rev up your metabolism and cause your, your body fat to drop naturally without really any change in your diet whatsoever. So the big controversy that's going on right now, or the confusion that's going on right now, is the difference between um, synthetically derived IGF-1 and velvet antler extract, which is and has naturally occurring IGF-1 in it. So synthetically derived IGF-1 is an 83 chain amino acid sequence. That means that there's you have 20 basic not essential and non-essential amino acids within your body and what they do is they bind together to make this larger molecule which is 83 um, different combinations of these amino acids or 83 chain amino acid sequence. So why um, there's a lot of controversy about this is there's a lot of research and information about this synthetically derived isolate causing prostate cancers, uh, causing breast cancer, causing other types of cancer. Um, actually shortening the lifespan. Um, and this is due to the fact of the unregulated growth or unregulated cell growth or proliferation of cells um, that that synthetically derived isolated version of IGF-1 causes. Um, this isolated version that's synthetically derived is very different than what's being naturally produced in your body. Naturally, what you're producing in your body is a 70 chain amino acid sequence. Um, so they actually do, what they actually do is in a lab they genetically modify um, that IGF-1 molecule to make it more active within the body and they basically bond 13 more amino acids onto it to create that 83 chain sequence. Um, so velvet antler has this naturally recurring 70 chain amino acid sequence in there. Um, but it's not the only uh, growth factor that's found within velvet antler. There's, there's um, several handfuls of growth factors, almost 18 identifiable growth factors. A lot of different other uh, factors like cofactors and coenzymes that help to uh, metabolize protein-based molecules. So looking at um, synthetically derived IGF-1, um, is whenever you take a, it's in an isolated form, so it's just IGF-1 on its own. Um, so whenever you take an isolate, um, you're going to create an imbalance within your body. Um, and this is true to the fact with HRTs um, that have been shown to cause cancer, with estrogen treatment uh, for menopausal women. Um, also, um, the same thing with birth control. These estrogen-based birth controls have been shown to cause cancer um, because you're taking an isolated form of that hormone. Um, even things like testosterone. Testosterone can cause your body to aromatize estrogen and your estrogen levels can actually increase after an extended use of an isolated testosterone. It can actually cause a reverse effect that testosterone would actually, uh, was actually uh, trying to achieve. So there's always imbalances that are caused whenever you take an isolated. 
Very important is deer antler is not an isolate. Uh, it's not just IGF-1. Um, we don't just isolate IGF-1 from the deer antler. What we do is we're taking this whole entire antler and all the components of it and basically processing it down. Um, so from the processing techniques that we're able to, to utilize, we're able to keep a lot of the nutrients, or majority of the nutrients alive, uh, keep them very active. We're able to have a lot of different um, animal practices where we're able to increase the amount of nutrients um, naturally within the deer's antler. So we have a very nutrient rich form of deer antler and it just happens to be very nutrient dense in this 70 chain amino acid sequence of IGF-1. Um, what else is found in the deer antler that prevents imbalances within the body um, are cofactors and coenzymes and other growth factors that work synergistically within deer velvet antler. And these cofactors and coenzymes help to metabolize that protein-based molecule and like I said, uh, prevent imbalances within the body. And this is very different than the isolated form of IGF-1 that does not have a cofactors or coenzymes in it and just causes unregulated cell growth. Um, so at a certain standpoint with velvet antler um, that's rich in IGF-1, it's not going to cause unregulated cell growth. It's, it's kind of a cell growth modulator, just like it is an immune modulator, just like it is in a hormone modulator. It doesn't cause an overreaction of your immune system or underaction of your immune system, just like it doesn't cause you to produce an over, uh, overabundance of testosterone or uh, over an abundance of estrogen or progesterone. Um, and that's why it's even safe for people who are getting drug tested as athletes to take the product and, and modulate your body systems. And IGF-1 in this form is found in a lot of different food products from different types of meats, uh, especially livers, uh, any type of animal liver. It's very rich in IGF-1. Raw dairy is very rich in IGF-1. Uh, colostrum is very rich in IGF-1, a colostrum being the either first milking colostrum from a bovine cow. I mean, even colostrum that's delivered directly uh, from the woman to, uh, to a newborn infant. Um, so we have these, this naturally occurring, we consume this naturally occurring IGF-1 throughout, um, throughout our diets and, and, and many other cultures that have a, a diet that's rich in, very, uh, in, in, in raw dairies and uh, other uh, animal-based proteins uh, have a great abundance of this naturally occurring IGF-1 uh, within their body. And, uh, and it doesn't cause any types of imbalances, doesn't cause any types of cancer, actually does a lot of the contrary, regulates your immune system, so it helps to you know, really combat those different types of cancers. Also been shown to uh, actually break down leukemia cells as well. Um, so there's a lot of exciting information and research coming about uh, from this naturally derived form of IGF-1. And what the deer antler is, is it's actually a super nutrient dense food. It's a raw food because of how we derive it, we process it. And it's very nutrient dense because of our processing techniques, our husbandry practices with the, the animals that we utilize. And, and this just causes us to concentrate um, this, this type of extract, this type of superfood to a truly an unprecedented level. Um, so there's really no need to uh, be concerned when it comes to uh, these different types of, of cancers and these different types of uh, illnesses that would come about from synthetically derived isolated forms of hormones uh, like IGF-1.